Hello everybody, welcome to game two of Stay Clawtastic. It is mega death. Let's see how overpowered his team is. Probably not that overpowered, seeing as it's a thousand TV. Ah, it's <laughs> so he's down two rerolls. This is the thing, right? He's got one block and two rerolls. And a goblin, so this is the problem with the mixed race teams. It is hard to, to fit extra shit in at a thousand TV. So uh, he might come unstuck by only having two rerolls and one block. But we'll we'll see. I mean, that doesn't look so ridiculous. Obviously, it'll be ridiculous when developed. Uh, that goes without saying that once developed, they're ridiculous. But um, oh, rookie, it's not that crazy. Yeah, but if it, if it does that, if it starts without Pedro Jack, then it's got no rerolls, hasn't it? That's the thing. So it's um, all of, all of the mixed teams are a lot more a lot more ridiculous when they're uh, when they're developed but it, it, to start with a lot of them will probably end up weaker than normal teams to be fair I wouldn't you know I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised um, if some of them are weaker than what you would normally make Well, our Yeti, by the way, and TLC. Yeah, not from the start, but yeah, when built up. Yeah, obviously. That's the thing, yeah. That's also true, Carl Ancelotti. Yeah, that's also true. That's also true. But yeah, m m what I find is when people are making these crazy mixed teams, I think at 1,000 TV, they're not so good. But yeah, obviously, obviously developed, they're, they're insane. I mean, that's... That also goes without saying that <laughs> they're completely ridiculous. Just sticking a gutter runner on a chaos team is insane anyway, isn't it? Or two gutter runners, as the case may be. Even without anything else. Like hell, you could even go down to three chaos warriors and start with three chaos warriors and two gutters. And then uh, I'd still have three rerolls. Five and all well done. Got a couple of mighty blow. I think I'll just receive and try to beat him up. Johnny Durp. I could just give him the one turn option by receiving, but Fourteen men's three rerolls and an apple is pretty good, isn't it? Pretty solid. I don't hate it. Exactly. Anything with some gutter runners is gonna win. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's like it's just fucking nuts, isn't it? And everything with some war dancers, like in this thread on Reddit when they were like, What's the best elf team you can make? A mix of elf teams, I'm like, two war dancers, the rest doesn't matter. And it, it's literally that simple, isn't it? Because once you take two war dancers, the rest just doesn't matter. Could get additional blocks, but I'm not gonna do it. I just want the three dice from the troll. I like being able to see the skills, so I know the positionals. That's the fucking bad thing. Is that it's so hard to tell what the positionals are for me, still. That um, I like having 
I could change it to just the mighty blow show. But um I find it that difficult to see the position. I don't mind it. Ball's near. Ball's pretty safe. Just three dice this way. No reason not to. Get banged on. Shaggos! Oh, that's a pretty good name. That's a, <laughs> that's a pretty good name. Shaggos. Oh, this just is, I'm, pro I'm up men for probably the first time <laughs> in what feels like forever. Um, actually, up men, unbelievable, Jeff. Made the pick up, fucking hell. Is there even a Mac version? <laughs> Three people on <laughs> the Yeah, the tense on the troll is a bit. I don't know. Like, it's kind of cool, but it's also a bit... It's a bit fucking much, isn't it? It's a bit extreme. Oh, nice. He's got to eat it because he's got two rerolls. Unlucky. So he can block him. Blitz somewhere. I mean, two, three, four, five. I could just block him. But I guess it's better to block him and blitz him. Three dice, I'm not gonna re-roll it, so let's just go. Oh he's strength two. But it's given him easy assist to blitz him, so probably not worth it. Probably not worth the follow -up. Pretty good having uh, warriors based on goblins. It's not I don't hate it. Because it's hard for to three dice them. Ish. Foul the warrior or riot. Now I'd be late in the half, the fouls, because I've only got two reserves. If I had three reserves, I'd think about fouling more, but. I didn't see the playoffs match last night. Was that Inarian? Oh, did, did Inarian not win, and that's why I didn't reply. Are Underworld any good? Well, it depends if you call Underworld a stunty team, to be fair. Uh, it depends. I mean, the what the three that are definitely stunty teams are goblins, halflings, and ogres in that order. And then you can argue that skinks with a croxigor is a stunty team because they they're allowed to win the stunty cup in, in tabletop tournaments. And then you could argue that, uh, and you could argue that underworld are a stunty team. And obviously, if you do, they're the best. 
Um, because they've got more strength three and, and more block than all the others. I mean, it's no contest them versus goblins, is it? Because basically, <laughs> VIP, super oh, VIP look, last frogman. It's frog my man. sugar daddy, the last frogman. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, exactly. You don't foul none now that they've revoked TD fouls. Absolutely. Yeah, that was the thing. They removed the zero risk, always a good idea foul. So now that they're just risky, risky dumb fouls, it's not as a, it's not as appealing to make them, is it? It's hard, really hard to block that that warrior, even if I blitz him. He can block him, as long as I blitz him. So that seems to be a thing to do. Ball relatively safe, even if it's fair. No, it's not that safe. Let's make the ball safer. If he goes stupid, it's all right. If he double scores, he gets knocked down, and it's too nice in the ball. So yeah, have to have to protect the ball somewhat. Probably wouldn't be able to get through there, but still might be able to block him down, block him, block him, get in there. He might be able to get in there. It's actually surprisingly tricky. I guess he's not going to do much with his gutters though, so. Uh, Oh god, the ground shake. Bam, get to fuck. And some people would say they wouldn't take claw on him. Get out of town. He bangs on people, doesn't he? he? Fucking bangs on people. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you bang on people with him? That's what I want to know. Oh shit, GFI to assist. Try these dodge out too. Yes, warrior two dies by a goblin. Get fucking banged on. Jim legend, 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 Jim legend. Jim legend, Jim legend, Jim legend can foul if they're dead. That's very that's a very good point. That is absolutely very good point. You can't foul if they're dead. So um thank you. That's frogman. <laughs> it's not a double though, the claws are normal for the warpstone trolls. So pretty good. Alright, wanna um Get him in for the assist. Good. Get a proper fucking sideline cage here. Obviously not not great, but um, it'll do. Follow on a pow and then bring in a goblin. <clears throat> I guess actually putting him there is pretty good. Because he's dominated by him, isn't he? This is a little bit risky putting him in there.
chim pals. The chim pals getting me here, unfortunately, but oh well, let's see what happens. She'll take dodge and a dodge him away from Pats. Probably jump up. Probably jump up, Pedro Jack. Probably jump up. Probably literally jump up on a double so he can jump up claw on things. Oh shit. Didn't strand him. But it did take three players' actions to get him. Hey. Nah, oh, shit. Poor underworld goblin. What a shit. Ooh, the, uh... The gutter runner is, uh, vulnerable. Safe moves first. Unbelievable, Jack. Get the fucking ogre in. Fucking shit up. Now I don't read really who'd want to foul now that one guy's been cast. Fouling the gutter would have been alright, I guess. Finally, the frustration reroll coming into play. Face the ball. He can be. He can be proud of himself there. Burp, burp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. Oh, I'm that's a bit exciting, isn't it? That got a runner. To be fair, this is pretty decent basing because um, it's actually pretty decent basing with him being strength four. Um, but he can block him, can't he? So a power would be ideal. I'd really love to, um, to obviously blitz the the gutter and then surf him, but I guess it's more important to uh, deal with him. served him as well. Just run away. But you can get two dice with the cutters and everything. Just gonna run away. Oh god, he can reach. Oh wow, that was dumb. Oh wow, that was dumb. 
He can reach two. Oh, wow, that was really dumb. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I didn't want to go there because I didn't want to be able to push him into the into the end zone. But now he can just uh, now he can just pound me. Double G if I to hit, or double G if I to hit. So therefore, he has to come here, and he has to one dice him. And this guy has to go for the dodge, isn't he? Alright, save, save my ass with good dice, but that was terrible. That was fucking terrible play. Really fucking terrible play. By myself. Deserve to lose. I do. For that play. Instead, get a stun out of it. <laughs> Um, and a surf, hopefully. And a Kaz. <laughs> yeah, but it's more rolls, though, isn't it? It's more rolls. If I hadn't, if I hadn't made the GFI, he could have just blitzed without having to move him to cancel it. So. Oh, you shitting me. Yeah, I wasn't shooting it down by moving him, but um, made it harder, didn't it? That was all I could do after such a monumental fuck up. Um, haven't blitzed, have I? No, so he should try to block him. I was just greedy for the uh, storm vermin hit on Gutter. Oh yeah, that could have dodged him away, yeah, I could have dodged him away, yeah, true. Yeah, I could have moved him around, yeah. Yeah, that's right, it took you there, should have been there. Well, it was better in that he's got block. It's better in that he's got block. If I'd failed a 1 in 9, he's just come through. Um, if he could have come through, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He could have double GFI'd for a one dive. Block but not harm. Not true, but then he wouldn't have had to dodge. Uh, I don't think it was strictly bad to, to not dodge away. Not attempt the dodge. I don't I don't I don't think not attempting the dodge was just clearly wrong. Um but you know, probably wrong. He's got a mix of chaos and uh chaos, one of the stupid mixed race teams, chaos and uh Chaos and Skaven is all he's taken, but he could have taken other things. I don't know the risk of him not having to dodge when he's when he's got re you know hasn't got many rerolls. I don't know. It wasn't. I just. It definitely wasn't a wrong play by me there. But um, I mean, it was. It was wrong running away over there. That was the mistake. I think, and then after that. You can argue that I should have dodged away and uh, kind of shut down Beastman Blitz. Yeah, I don't know what the actual what all what oh, Underworld as well. He's another one with it. Oh, he's no, he's got a Skiven Blitzer, hasn't he? He hasn't got a Storm Vermin. I'm pretty sure he's got an Underworld Blitzer here. Not a Storm Vermin, but he's got an Underworld Goblin. That's another person who's taken a, a fucking Storm Vermin instead of a. Blitzer, what the fuck? It's like the best thing about them is the Skaven Blitzers. Not taking I don't I really don't understand people not taking them. Well I mean I tried to justify it yesterday by saying they don't have animosity, but really 
I mean, they're not strictly better. They're, they're really not strictly better than a, uh, a Storm Vermin, but they are really so much better that I just don't see why you would ever not take a, uh, a thing. Can you one turn here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he, he obviously can. But, um... Oh, they've got dodge, so I actually can't have them on the line. The obvious move is to blitz him into a hole or blitz him into a hole. He's not getting blitz, whatever happens. Now it means he's got to blitz him into a hole. And that's going to be a bit trickier, I think. Fair play if he gets this one. <sighs> yeah, I do think Chlora Normals is way better than Animosity. Way, 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 way better. But... Are you Underworld Ogre? Leveled on your mixed team but didn't have mutation access. you Underworld Ogre? Do you mean Underworld Troll? Right, yeah. Wow, that's fucked then. Hello, VIP Mr. Yem and Dem. XCOM is destroyed by Mario plus Robert's Kingdom Battle. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I think Chloro Normals is way better. I just don't even think it's a contest. But at least you can argue it, you know? At least you can argue that it's um that there's a reason to take a uh, You can you can certainly argue that there's a reason to take a Scave uh, a Storm Vermin instead of a Staven Blitzer, but really really <laughs> I wouldn't, but yeah, there you go. If uh, obviously not, if the underworld troll leveled up and didn't have mutations access, then if the mutations don't work right, then then obviously the storm vermin's better, isn't it? So that's fair enough. Then. Oh man. Wow, he's had no luck this game, has he? He's really had no luck. But um, again, only two rerolls. So, wow. Bold move, <laughs> bold move, Cotton. Thousand eyes watch. Oh, that's kind of like the crossbow, isn't it? That's that's not so bad. Hard as warp stone, <laughs> and that's 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 actually a defensive setup almost. Um, obviously these should be here, but that's almost a defensive setup. That's what um, Jack Daniels used with dwarves and fumble. So, so these are almost setups. To be fair.
thing is, if I put goblins on the line, he gets three dice against them, doesn't he? So, I think I'll just put the Linos on the line. And the troll. The survivor bit of it. The, 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 the survivability. What's he on? Eight guys. Three, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh no. Three, s there's six, seven, eight, yeah, eight. Pretty lucky. <laughs> Hello, Fash. No, honestly, there was a guy on Fumble called Jack Daniels. And uh, he got he won the Fumble Cup with his dwarf team and got any player from any race, and he got a uh, Beast of Nurgle. But, of course, this was when Tentacles was better than it is now, so you can forgive him for taking it. Um, now he's on eight. I just counted a player that wasn't there. He's on eight. Um, look at his bench. Oh, it's rain. It's a starting team. He only had eleven because you know he's down to two rerolls and had extra, extra sexy boys. Um, and then there was a guy. What was he called? Uh, Oh, Pigstar69. <laughs> Pigstar69, he won with uh, Orcs. And he was allowed a player of any type, and he chose a gutter runner. And then his gutter runner got plus movement or something ridiculous. And I was like, how did he even, how did he even, you know, it's just crazy. How lucky can you get? He got like multiple doubles on him as well or something. <laughs> I'll have a look. I'll have a look on Fumble. The luckiest, though, actually. So after he took the gutter runner, um, obviously everybody, everybody realised that um, that everyone's going to be taking a gutter runner, right? Or like a beast of Nurgle or whatever. War dancer. Um, so then they limited the prize to 70k basically just to disallow um just to disallow gutter runners and uh oh, he didn't get plus movement he got block big hand leap show hand sidestep um back when big hand was pick up on a two plus what whatever oh well, it's the same for a gutter runner now anyway isn't it so he wasn't actually that crazy um his gutter runner but azure Azure won with dwarves and got a skink on his dwarf team, and that was pretty disgusting. Uh, right, Blitz a defenseless guy? I guess so. Oh my god, that was so bad. In, in my head I was thinking I'll move this goblin here to assist, and then just didn't. That was pretty bad. Just loudly. Just fucking loudly, that was awful. Awful play. Deserve to lose. That's two plays I've done that make me deserve to lose the game. Seems I moved him there anyway. I guess it's not so bad with those two being stunned. But, uh, awful. Awful, awful. Yeah, Dark Elf Lino is a good one to get. Uh, somebody got a Dark Elf Lino on their team. Uh, well, no, actually, not a Dark Elf Lino, of course, not Squirrel Dude. Um, it was a Dark Elf Renegade, is what they chose, so he could have he could have mutations on normals. Um, and then somebody took a Chorf, a Chorf Lineman, obviously, a, well, a Chorf Lineman, a Chorf Blocker. It was one of the more recent ones on a, on, a, on a necromantic team. And he just scored a million touchdowns and didn't level him up, it was hilarious. He just basically became his ball carrier. The good, the goblins are surprisingly good, aren't they, against uh, gutter runners because they can they can maybe dodge through and get two dice on the ball. Oh yeah, he fouls me. Oh, that was really bad that I didn't stand in there. Holy shit. Holy shit, that was bad. That was 
was really like awful that I didn't stand him up. Standing up first. Oh, now I roll a one. <laughs> Fucking typical. <laughs> oh, shit. Two, three, four, five. So we could get two dice on him naturally. And then put two assists on this guy and blitz him. And two on this guy, maybe. Ready-made assists. Right, bro. See you later. It was Mighty Blow that got the KO. Glorious. It must be meta breaking to allow everything. <laughs> the chance of an orc throw. Did he just pass it to me? He's pissed off, obviously. He just did a burn. Starts his turn with a burned action. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. Hello, VIP Sledger. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> He's gone full burned. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That's true, Skrull, dude. Yeah. You can go there. Help up his pal. The, the, the one. I mean, this is fair, rolling the ones for all these, to be fair. To be fair, it's fair. Because I shouldn't have been a dumbass and should have stood him up when I had the chance. Oh yeah, you rolled a six. <laughs> Would you get no, no TLC? The, the definition says throwing an accurate pass on a, to a player on your team. So um, you would absolutely not get the star player points. For uh, passing to somebody on the opposing team. Could have served this one with a goblin dodge, but let's let's not care about surfs. You can be my killed. wingman anytime. Oh, you can be mine. oh, the real Scooter J. Al alive and well. <laughs> Thank you very much, real Scooter J, for the host. Massive host. Huge host. If you don't know real Scooter J, he's very much like Lupak. E excellent Blood Bowl player. He's a badass. <laughs> Thank you very much. Scooter. You can be my wingman anytime. There you go. <laughs> He's a badass! <laughs> okay now. Oh wow, he's he's completely given up. Can he score this turn? GFI. Might as well go for it, might get another one. You want the three dice with him? No. Yeah.
No, that would be amazing, because catch isn't optional, is it? So they'd have to catch it. That would be amazing. Thought you'd have died, then. Same, uh... Same one as the Storm Vermin, isn't it? Can't blame him for that. He can be a safety just in case. Just in case he decides to play again. I guess he's not deciding to play again. to run away from the goblin then. Wow, is it? That's pretty bad, isn't it? wonder if he's going to do another pass from the gutter running. <laughs> he's parted like the Red Seas here, hasn't he? So I think it's safe to say he's uh, he's going to continue the soft concede. Though I guess this this could be a this could be a blitz and a and a bit of a potato actually. Wow. Third dice crucial. God, he's probably outrun the support here. I guess he. I guess he's not going to try to bring him down though. Seeing he just literally passed it to him. But um, still, you never know. People. People do funny things, don't they? People do do funny things. I do that to protect the ball, didn't I? Alright, now we can see a foul. Nah, I don't, because he might start fouling me. I just wanted to protect my uh, Storm Vermin from getting blitzed. Thanks, muted. Nothing, because he is literally muted, so... <laughs> I just have people muted by default. It's, uh... It's... <laughs> It's a very enjoyable experience for me to have my opponents muted straight off the bat. I could only score if I got a blitz, couldn't I? Um, so I think I'll just make make sure I don't turn over. Um, I'm failing a GFI and get the touchdown next turn. Could unmute him, but I like I like I'm just gonna keep everybody muted all the time. Although you lose out on some bants, um, I think I think Fash has the right idea, just all muted all the time. I right, try to get a cast of him. Flash invited, invented, never type in chat. So I think keep my opponent muted means that they'll never say anything that will vaguely piss me off, which is... And then if I'm playing somebody, I know I can unmute them. I mean, I've seen Johnny Turk in chat before, so... I could have unmuted against him, but no, I'll, I'll only unmute against... Against... Uh, it's raining, so no, no way. 
Not when there's a touchdown. I mean, I could have done them a bit earlier turns, but not not in the rain. Nah. Right, five. That's pretty good. I guess if I'd scored last turn, he might have conceded and given me more winnings. Uh, and an extra MVP. So maybe I should have scored the previous turn. Uh, but there you go. Doesn't matter. Um, I was pre he was pretty unlucky, to be fair. I was pretty lucky. So. They'll still got more skulls than powers. <laughs> and more board downs than power. More board downs than push powers and more skulls. But uh, his, his were pretty bad, I think. Yeah, 11 and 9 is pretty bad, isn't it? Especially when you don't have block. Double skull with a guy with block as well. Um, right. So, 2 out of 2 for the... Uh, this team oh my god claw for the claw for the guy oh no doubled all right he's getting block he's getting block i mean claw would be amazing but you got to take block having him double and oh double could take could take jump up but i just think it takes too long so I guess things I've already got two mighty blow guys. I could take claw first on him, but with the way that this this thing is, I gotta go mighty blow, haven't I? I wouldn't hate though going claw first on one. I wouldn't hate it, but uh, that's very nicely developed, isn't it? I mean, yeah, maybe it's just one one mighty blow tackle and one mighty blow claw. Um, like in. In a normal format, maybe it's one mighty blow, then tackle, and the other one claw, then mighty blow, because you always just blitz with a mighty blow, and if you need a mighty blow, blitz, and then you can blitz with a claw, and if you need a claw, blitz, can't you? So, um, why not, Fellaini? They're, they're strength three. I don't know of anybody who wouldn't take two Skaven throwers. Uh, they're strength three, so you just literally have to take them. Plus, they can die, can't they? I mean, like, you know... I wouldn't. I would never take. I wouldn't even take one Skaven thrower on a Skaven team. But when your alternative is, is a fucking goblin, <laughs> I'm taking as many as I can get. <laughs> um, there you go. Flat fart. Um, yeah, so, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good after like two games, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty good. I mean, they they probably are that well. Yeah, if you classify them as a stunty team, they're they're the best stunty team by a mile. But um. They only have four goblins, don't they, on, on, at the start of the match. So they're just like a weird a weird thing. Yeah, I think the next one's tackle just because of the beta, you know. Um, yeah, exactly, two Skaven linemen. I'd, if, I, if I could replace the throws with linemen, I would. I'd still have one, I guess, for the sure hands. But, um, right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.